T-shirt templates, man, that's my specialty. And chances are, if I made T-shirt designs in any software, I definitely made a T-shirt template to go along with it because I like to work natively, and you should too. I know I tell you guys to use Photoshop and Illustrator together, but if you smash the like button and we get to like 100 likes on this video, I'll work on another software, which is pretty much a one-time buy, and you can do the exact same thing with it. Anyways, if you guys like this one today, this will be listed on my Patreon. You can pick this one up. You would also be helping out this community. But with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe and bail me so you know when my next tutorials come out. But let's go ahead and get an illustrator so we can get this video started. So here we are in Illustrator, right? And we have our t-shirt. So a 14 by 18 document is what you start with. Then you insert your photo. So I have my photo right here. I think this is what we're gonna use. So what we need to do is cut this out the background. And the way that we do this is we take the pen tool and we go around the shirt and then put a transparency mask on it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the pen tool and I'm gonna go around this, make the shape, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so now that we got the shape, we just need to go ahead and flip the strokes to a fill and basically go into our layers panel. We're gonna copy that layer and then we wanna lock that layer down. This layer is very important. So now we're gonna go into our shirt file, which is gonna be named link file. And we wanna hit this transparency icon right here. Now, if you don't see that, you wanna go into window, down to transparency and click that. It'll create that transparency icon for you. Oh, and before we move forward, make sure that you turn off the icon for that path that you just made. Okay, now in this transparency, you want to go ahead and make a mask. That should take everything out the game, right? If you click on that mask or that black spot and you hit Command F, you'll paste in that shape that you just created. If you invert the mask, you'll get the t-shirt cut out the background. So cool, I just showed you guys how to cut things out the background in Illustrator. Now if we click back on this picture right here, It'll bring back our layers panel. Now, a lot of times people will be like, okay, well, I wanna make sure that this is actually cut. We don't wanna worry about the transparencies. And that's not a bad idea. So if you're like that, what you wanna do is you wanna go into object and you wanna rasterize. And in this rasterize icon, make sure that you hit transparent for the background and then you hit okay. Doing that gets rid of the transparency mask. And if you used to move the t-shirt outside of the box, you would see that the background is gone, like permanently gone. Okay, cool. So now that we got that, we're going to take the image. We want to rename it. I'm going to name it T-shirt. And then I want to make a copy of it. So I'm going to click and hold this layer and bring it down to this icon here just to make a duplicate copy. And I want to bring this copy above the path that we created. Now, of course, we don't have clipping masks, which means that anything that we make will affect everything up under it. But because this T-shirt is cut up through a shape, nothing behind all this will be disturbed if I put something behind it. So what I'm saying is, when I put this t-shirt on a multiply layer in the transparencies, of course the t-shirt gets darker because it's affecting the actual t-shirt layer. I don't have this icon here on, but if I was to unlike the path and turn on this icon, it's only affecting this black layer. So if I was to change the color of this black layer to like maybe a red, we just change the color of the shirt. And this looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this layer t-shirt template and I wanna lock that layer down for a sec. Now I wanna go into layer two and I wanna use this side of the artboard to start doing some art. So what I wanna do is I just wanna paste in some art real quick. You guys can get this art off of Patreon, it is there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a black background behind it as well so we can see what's going on. And this looks pretty good, I think I like this in black. Uh, so I'm gonna change the color of the shirt to be black as well. So if I copy this layer real quick, and I'm just gonna go ahead and lock that down and go into my t-shirt template right here above my path and just make a new layer. I could just go ahead and hit Command F and paste that in. And as you can see, the artwork works really well with the shadows of the actual t-shirt. But with that being said, you guys, that's basically it. Definitely pick this one up. It's on my Patreon. You'll love it. And share this with anybody who's trying to get into t-shirt designs on Illustrator and they need this template. This will definitely help them out and you'll be helping out the community as well. With that being said, you guys, I have to get up out of here. So, stay amazing, stay creative above all levels, stay awesome.